Hello, this is Brainy Brown and we're back on Rust and thankfully my base is still standing even though I had a wooden door, that's all to protect me, but bloody hell. So anyways, last night I wanted to craft this, get it built up bigger, get it reinforced, but the server won't let me, it was glitchy as fuck, so I just gave up. And now I'm back on the next morning and I'm still here. And surprise, surprise, it's night, it's pitch black, so I'm going to cut this and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a friend spawned in, and uh, I think the plan now is to drop all my shit in these boxes, and I'm gonna go out try to find What's a raptor. As you can see, we've hit a mother load of rock. Me and my mate are just gathering it up. All good. I ho, I ho! It's after work we go. Right, so we live over there. Sweet. I won't be able to play tomorrow because I'm out old. Not got much rock stone though. So shall we try up that way? Uh, yeah. So I've just gone up by myself, I'm out to do a bit of farming. I have the stone because we really need it to complete the base. There it is, you can see it. Mates outside putting down our fish traps, so we've got some food, and then we're gonna sort out the water. Yeah, it's turning out well. And this barren map is just brilliant. You can see rock for miles away. You can see animals for miles away. It just overall makes the game so much better and easier. Well, it is not the fact that I'm after an easier game, but searching for something, it's not fun. Whereas being able to see something easily from distance, yeah, I'll take it. And the arrow firing is so much better nowadays, it's like hit stuff finally. Before you'd have to like, calculate drop and wind speed. Oh well. Good. Spotted a rock in the distance. And I love just to run and spam it. Tap tip for anyone, if you hold down shift for like 3 seconds whilst running. Yes, crossbow. If you hold down shift whilst running. After three seconds, you take your finger off shift and you'll carry on running as long as you hold down the directional button, which makes it really easy just to spam grab stuff like I'm doing at the minute, which in my opinion seems to be the easiest way to gain XP at the start of the game. So anyway, here's the rock I wanted. Nice. Just chilling with my canna boys. Get to work, boy. Hey, make sure you grab some mushrooms, bro. The magic. Okay, so I'm having to run home because apparently there's a dog in the base. I'm pretty sure it's a wolf, but my mate's new to Rust and he's being battered by this wolf. He's hiding inside. See how it goes. There it is. I got my bow. Hang on. Set these up. I know what I'm doing with wolves. Fucking things. Don't know what to expect. Oh, we killed it. Right, so I just ran like half the map for no reason. Sweet. Cheers, mate. Okay, so I'm just back at my base, chilling out. My mate's out there getting some wood, earning me some XP, which is nice. And, well, we've basically got shit together, got a couple of furnaces out here. He's got his bag down here, some boxes just to store shit in. Which is just as well, because got a lot of shit. 
do 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 do. Yeah, we found an airdrop. We've got some juicy landmines and snap traps. And see the little sparkles there? That's whenever he's hitting a tree out there. So this game is uh, is quite good for teaming up. It opens up the possibility, especially if you've got a friend here to play with you. Makes it a lot better. And I keep pressing I to open up the menu, which is a fucking arc thing. Got too used to playing that shit. But yes, this new Rust Baron map is, and the XP system has really injected life back into the game. And a good tip I'm finding here on the XP system is as you level up, you gain experience points. Don't spend your experience points straight away. Save them, let them accumulate, and then you're good to go. And what's gone on there seems to be some shit stuck in my crafting queue. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. I did get booted off the server. Maybe they were crafting when that happened, and that's how that's got glitched. I don't know. But come to expect shit like this playing Rust. And my friend is back. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> uh. Mate, I think you might need to place it on the ground. Yeah, I'm starting to think that. Here, let me have a go. Let's see how I do this shit. Six. Uh, yeah, and yeah, the item ain't even appearing. What the fuck? Okay, maybe it needs to be on a foundation. There's one in the box inside. Yeah, I ain't got a clue about that, mate. I'm gonna have to Google it or something. <laughs> Here you go, I'll chuck it back. Oh, quickly! It's rolling! It's rolling! Well, I think I'm pretty much going to have to call it a day. Probably be back on later. It's been fun. See how rough goes. I'm really enjoying all the new features and playing about with the new stuff. It's been fun. Catch you later. Thank you for watching. Bye. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> uh. Mate, I think you might need to place it on the ground. Here, let me have a go. Let's see how I to do this shit. Six. Uh, yeah, and yeah, the item ain't even appearing. What the fuck? Okay, maybe it needs to be on a foundation. There's one in the box inside. Yeah, I ain't got a clue about that, mate. I'm gonna have to Google it or something. <laughs> Here you go, I'll chuck it back. Oh, quickly!
It's rolling. It's rolling. Grow, my babies. Grow. Grow. Big, strong plants. Oh, well, I think I'm pretty much going to have to call it a day. Probably be back on later. It's been fun. See how Russ goes. I'm really enjoying all the new features and playing about with the new stuff. It's been fun. Catch you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.